In the year 2357, humanity found itself embroiled in a war unlike any other. It was not fought on distant planets or against alien invaders, but rather against an enemy that lurked within the fabric of time itself. The temporal wars, as they would come to be known, were waged across centuries, with each battle fought not to conquer territory, but to alter the course of history. It all began with the discovery of time travel technology, a breakthrough that promised to revolutionize civilization. But with great power came great peril. The ability to traverse through time opened Pandora's box, unleashing chaos upon the world. The first major conflict erupted when a rogue faction sought to rewrite history by preventing the birth of a pivotal figure whose actions had shaped the course of humanity for centuries to come. Known only as the Catalyst, this individual's existence was deemed too dangerous by those who sought to manipulate the past for their own gain. Thus, the Temporal Defense Initiative, TDI, was formed, comprised of the brightest minds and bravest soldiers from across the globe. Their mission, to protect the timeline at all costs, to ensure that the threads of history remained intact. Captain Amelia Vance stood at the forefront of this war, leading her team of elite temporal operatives into the heart of the temporal battleground. Clad in advanced exosuits equipped with temporal displacement modules, they were the tip of the spear in humanity's fight against the forces of temporal distortion. Their first assignment took them to the year 2024, a critical juncture in the timeline where the Catalyst's birth was threatened by a series of orchestrated events. As they materialized in the shadowy alleyways of a bustling metropolis, Vance couldn't shake the sense of foreboding that gripped her. We have a narrow window of opportunity, she reminded her team, her voice tinged with urgency. We must locate the anomaly and neutralize it before it's too late. With each step, the echoes of time reverberated around them, whispering secrets of futures that might have been. But Vance knew that dwelling on what could have been was a luxury they could ill afford. Their mission was clear, to protect the timeline, no matter the cost. As they delved deeper into the heart of the city, they encountered resistance from the enemy forces, determined to safeguard their alterations to history. Blaster fire erupted in the streets, echoing the relentless struggle between past and present. But amidst the chaos, Vance couldn't shake the nagging doubt that lingered in the recesses of her mind. With each temporal incursion, they risked losing more than just the integrity of the timeline. They risked losing their very souls to the relentless march of time. And as they pressed forward, Vance couldn't help but wonder, in their quest to preserve the past, were they doomed to lose sight of the future? The air crackled with tension as Captain Amelia Vance and her team navigated the labyrinthine streets of 2024. Their every step a delicate dance between preserving the timeline and confronting the shadowy forces intent on altering it. As they pressed on, Vance couldn't shake the sense of unease that gnawed at her. The weight of responsibility bore down upon her shoulders, a burden she carried not just for herself, but for all of humanity. With each passing moment, the stakes grew higher, the consequences of failure more dire. We're closing in on the anomaly, one of Vance's operatives reported, his voice tinged with urgency. Vance nodded, her jaw set in determination. They had come too far to falter now. With their exosuits humming with energy, they surged forward, their resolve unwavering in the face of adversity. But as they rounded a corner, they were met with a sight that sent a chill down Vance's spine. Before them stood a towering figure cloaked in darkness, its presence radiating an aura of malevolence that seemed to warp the very fabric of reality. The Guardian, Vance whispered, her voice barely audible above the din of battle. The Guardian was a legendary enforcer of the temporal manipulators, a being whose origins were shrouded in mystery. Rumors spoke of its ability to bend time to its will, to unravel the very essence of existence with but a thought. But Vance knew that they could not afford to be paralyzed by fear. With a steely resolve, she raised her blaster, her finger hovering over the trigger. We can't let it stop us, she declared, her voice firm and unwavering. We have a duty to protect the timeline, no matter the cost. 
With a roar, the Guardian lunged forward, its movements fluid and otherworldly, blasts of temporal energy lashed out, tearing through the fabric of space-time with reckless abandon. But Vance and her team were not so easily deterred. With precision and determination, they engaged the Guardian in a fierce battle, their weapons blazing with a fury born of desperation. As the battle raged on, Vance couldn't help but wonder if they were fighting a losing battle. The Guardian seemed to possess an otherworldly resilience, its very presence a testament to the power of those who sought to manipulate time itself. As the battle with the Guardian raged on, Captain Amelia Vance and her team found themselves locked in a deadly dance with an opponent whose very existence threatened to unravel the fabric of reality. Each clash sent shockwaves rippling through the streets of 2024, the echoes of their struggle reverberating through time itself, but despite the odds stacked against them, Vance refused to yield. With a fierce determination burning in her eyes, she led her team in a relentless assault against the Guardian, their weapons blazing with a fervor born of desperation. Yet, for every blow they landed, the Guardian seemed to shrug off the damage with unnerving ease, its form twisting and contorting as if defying the laws of physics themselves. It was a being of pure entropy, a harbinger of chaos unleashed upon the world. We need to find its weakness, Vance shouted over the din of battle, her voice barely audible above the cacophony of energy blasts and temporal distortions. Her team nodded in agreement, their faces grim beneath the visors of their exosuits. They knew that defeating the Guardian would require more than brute force. It would demand cunning and strategy, qualities they possessed in abundance. With a renewed sense of purpose, Vance and her team redoubled their efforts, probing for any weakness they could exploit. They analyzed the Guardian's movements, searching for patterns amidst the chaos, hoping to find a chink in its seemingly impenetrable armor. And then, amidst the chaos, Vance spotted it, a flicker of hesitation, a brief moment of vulnerability amidst the Guardian's relentless onslaught. It was a small opening, but it was all they needed. Now, Vance cried out, her voice ringing with command. With precision born of years of training, Vance and her team launched a coordinated assault, exploiting the Guardian's momentary lapse in focus. Blasts of energy lanced out, striking true as they found their mark. For a fleeting instant, the Guardian faltered, its form wavering as if on the verge of collapse. And then, with a deafening roar, it disintegrated into a shower of temporal energy, dissipating into the ether like a fading dream. For a moment, the streets of 2024 were silent, save for the gentle hum of the temporal displacement modules. Vance and her team stood amidst the wreckage, their breaths coming in ragged gasps as they surveyed the aftermath of their victory. As the dust settled from their confrontation with the Guardian, Captain Amelia Vance and her team took a moment to catch their breath and assess their surroundings. The streets of 2024 bore the scars of their battle, but the fabric of time remained intact, at least for now. We need to move quickly, Vance said, her voice cutting through the silence like a knife. The enemy won't rest until they find another way to disrupt the timeline. Her team nodded in agreement, their expressions grim beneath the visors of their exosuits. They knew that their victory against the Guardian was merely a temporary reprieve, a fleeting moment of respite in an endless war against the forces of temporal distortion. With a sense of urgency weighing heavy on their shoulders, Vance and her team pressed forward, their every step a reminder of the precarious nature of their mission. They traversed through the streets of 2024, their senses alert for any sign of another temporal anomaly, but as they delved deeper into the heart of the city, Vance couldn't shake the nagging feeling that they were being watched. It was as if the very fabric of reality itself was conspiring against them, its unseen forces plotting their downfall at every turn. We're being followed, one of Vance's operatives whispered, his voice tinged with apprehension. Vance's heart skipped a beat as she scanned their surroundings, her senses on high alert. Sure enough, she spotted shadows lurking in the alleyways, their presence a silent menace that sent shivers down her spine. We can't let them catch us off guard, Vance said, her voice tinged with steely resolve. We need to find the anomaly and neutralize it before they have a chance to strike. With renewed determination, Vance and her team pressed on, 
their every movement calculated and precise. They scoured the city for any sign of the temporal disturbance they had been sent to investigate, their senses honed to a razor's edge as they sought out their elusive quarry. And then, just as hope began to wane, they stumbled upon it, a rift in the fabric of time, its shimmering edges pulsating with an otherworldly energy. It was a gateway to another era, a doorway through which the forces of temporal distortion sought to reshape the course of history. We've found it, Vance said, her voice tinged with a mixture of relief and apprehension. Now we just need to shut it down before it's too late. As Captain Amelia Vance and her team stood before the shimmering rift in the fabric of time, a sense of urgency gripped them like a vice. They knew that the fate of humanity rested on their shoulders, that the outcome of this battle would determine the course of history itself. With their weapons drawn and their resolve unwavering, Vance and her team prepared to confront the anomaly head-on. They approached the rift cautiously, their senses on high alert for any sign of danger. But as they drew closer, Vance sensed a shift in the air, a subtle ripple in the fabric of reality that sent a chill down her spine. Something was amiss, she realized, something far more sinister than they had anticipated. And then, without warning, the rift erupted in a blinding flash of light, engulfing Vance and her team in a maelstrom of temporal energy. Time seemed to stand still as they were swept away on a torrent of cosmic forces, hurtling through the endless expanse of the temporal continuum. For what felt like an eternity, Vance and her team were lost in the swirling chaos of time, their very existence hanging in the balance. But amidst the tumult, Vance refused to surrender to despair. With every fibre of her being, she clung to the hope that they would emerge victorious, that they would find a way to restore order to the chaos that threatened to consume them. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the tempest subsided, leaving Vance and her team standing on the precipice of a new era. They had emerged from the crucible of time, battered but unbroken, their spirits tempered by the trials they had endured. As they surveyed their surroundings, Vance felt a sense of awe wash over her. They had arrived in a world untouched by the ravages of temporal distortion, a world where the threads of history remained unaltered by the machinations of those who sought to manipulate them. We did it, Vance whispered, her voice tinged with wonder. We preserved the timeline. Her team nodded in silent agreement, their faces illuminated by the glow of their temporal displacement modules. They had faced impossible odds and emerged victorious, their courage and determination a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. And as they prepared to return to their own time, Vance couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in what they had accomplished. For in the endless expanse of eternity, there were few things more noble than the quest to preserve the echoes of time.